My name is Dylan from Cheryl Stunning Succulents, and today we're in Mission Viejo. We're looking at a client that wants to take out all of the rose bushes out of here and convert everything to full succulent. So uh, this is the before right here, and I'll uh, see you guys when it's finished. There's so much that I want to show you in this garden. Uh, my client has a lot of collections. Look at this Echeveria here. This is, look at this big clump of, I think it's an Echeveria. Not sure, you can leave me a comment if you know what that is. Sunburst Aeonium. Look at this beauty here. She had it in two different areas. I just made it into a big clump. Bear paws, aloes. I didn't touch her um, pot here because it's so gorgeous. Come take a look at this trailing jade. Sometimes people don't know that they turn to purple to deep purple when they're stressed. When I mean stress, that means hot weather, cold weather, no water. When they're stressed out, the color becomes more vibrant. Here's a Echeveria. I took out the mommy here. I had to use her over there. Now we'll have space to grow. It's going to be okay. This is elephant bush, agave. Look at this big Kalanchoe. I had never seen it this huge, but it's very healthy. It's happy there. I didn't do anything. Look at this beauty. The color could be a lot more burgundy when it's stressed. Here's a fire stick that I moved there. I wanted her fountain to be the focal point, so um, I've got the Fred Ives here. And flapjacks, ghost plants. She has a lot of ghost plants, so I kept it here. They're going to continue to make babies. Look at this aloe. Agavoides. So I like to group them. As long as they'll have space, they're going to continue to grow. Let's see, aloe, Ionium, Fred Ives. Tiger's jaw, Echeveria. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment and tell me what you think. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on my next video.